Hi y'all, it's Ashley back with my December must-haves. The items that I cannot live without going into the month of December. So if you want to know what those are, keep watching. Okay guys, so we are back for another installment of my monthly favorites. And it's December, and that means Christmas! So if you can hear Jingle Bells, one, it could be Santa. Um, but two, it's probably this sweater I'm wearing that you can't see, but it has jingle bells on it. And so we all know the festive spirit is real. You just can't see um, Rudolph with jingly antlers um, below here, but that's what's happened. Let the holiday festivus begin. So my first monthly must have is um, my Hunter rain boots. Um, I'm only gonna hold one because they're bulky and heavy. Um, this is probably like maybe unpopular opinion. I know that they don't actually have like, I mean they've got good traction. I don't think they're intended for use in the snow. I think that's what like Sorrel's are for. But I got my Hunter Rain boots before I even knew what Sorrel's were in college. And I didn't have the money for another expensive pair of boots and I thought, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna make these Hunter Rain boots work. And so I have used these as my snow boots and my rain boots for um, three years. And it's working for me, so I'm gonna continue it. The only downside is in the winter, you have to wear these with like multiple pairs of boots on because this rubber um, keeps the rain out, but it does not keep the cold out. Um, I really like them. I especially like them in this color. I think it's called Cafe. I don't know if they still have it, but when I asked for these, um, I didn't want black because I wear a lot of leggings and I thought black on black on like my with my black jacket and probably the black sweater I'm wearing because black is the color of my soul most days so I needed I thought I needed something to break it up and I really have loved this color. It goes good with lots of things. It's not like specific like red um which like you know you can't wear with everything but they're very still very cute these ones if they don't have these ones still gray ones would be nice um, the black ones are nice too I actually like the matte black ones because those are kind of stand out a little bit but this is still my favorite color of hunter rain boot and I've absolutely loved them and they're gonna continue to be a necessity in my life especially when it first, like starts snowing and I need mostly something to keep the like water out of my shoes so love it. So my next December must have is a very general must have and that is cozy sweaters. Um, these are just three examples of cozy sweaters that I have in neutral colors and trendy color. Um, but I have a lot of them. Most of my wardrobe is made up of comfy cozy sweaters uh, and totally worth it because you can just throw them on. They're easy, they're cute, and they keep you warm, and that's the most important thing this holiday season, probably, is staying warm, I think. Um, all cozy sweaters are welcome in my life, so. But either way, like, all cozy sweaters, so nice, just cuddled up next to a fire with a cocoa and your cozy sweater. Honestly, I don't know if there's anything better. There probably is, maybe cake, but other than cake, cozy sweaters and hot chocolate, there's nothing better. Um, so my next December must have is a cape. Um, I love capes instead of like jackets, especially instead of pea coats. I think capes are very stylish. This cape in particular is huge and it's in that very trendy um, like green and navy and black plaid um, and it has this very fun teal e faux fur hood on it which I really enjoy and feel like red riding hood when I wear it but not red riding hood blue riding hood when I wear it anyway so it's got like the little sleeve cutouts not real sleeves so you have to have long sleeves because your arms come through but I'm it's from Zara they probably still don't have it but there are capes all over the place um, I think I feel like they're really gaining popularity I may never get another cape again until I wear this one out because I still three years later think it's like 
God's gift to earth. I just think it's like decadent and beautiful and sometimes you have to have one of those investment pieces where you know that you're gonna wear it for years and years and that's what this cape has been to me. I look for excuses to wear it all the time and I feel like that is a sign that you made a good purchase is when you always want to wear it and you like want excuses to wear it and you get excited when it gets cold for the first time and you can like pull out the cape because that was me last weekend. I was like, oh my gosh, it's, it's a little chilly. It's not that cold, but it's time for the cape. Pulled out the cape, got so stoked and haven't looked back. I've been wearing it every time I leave the house since then. But um, yeah, I think it's a great, like, any cape is a good purchase. These, this one is like so cute, but. I digress, I could talk about this cape forever, I and I have. So my next thing is a little bit more whimsical um, item, and you've seen them probably places um, on Pinterest especially, and it is one of these like fun holiday printed um, swing dresses. This one I ordered, honestly I think I got it off of Amazon somewhere. Um, Yes, I did, because I needed it quick for, um, I wore it to my winter formal in my sorority. I was way underdressed compared to everyone else, but I was very warm. Um, and I needed it, like, in a couple days, and so it was, like, I ordered it off Prime. And I think it is so cute, and I think they're so much fun, and I, like, looked for lots of excuses to wear it afterwards. Um... And I think it's good for like holiday parties. I think it's fun for shopping. It's fun for just like a regular Tuesday. Um, I like that. Um, I like the snowman one, and I like that it's black, red, and white. But they have all kinds of options out there. You can get Santa jumping in a chimney. There are Rudolph ones. There are like all different kinds of them. And I think that they're just really fun, but also definitely a necessity and a must-have for December. So my next um, December must-have is boot socks or boot, um, what are these called? Cuffs, boot cuffs. Um, I have these from a couple years ago that I have worn the heck out of and they're like the longer ones. But just recently I've bought a little set of these and I have them in gray also and I really, really love the little lacy uh, bit that hangs over the edge. I know that it's a little bit juvenile and I know that like the 90s are coming back and they're coming back in a weird way of like things that you wore in the 90s when you were um, four years old like me but uh, I think it's I think it's like fun and cute um, and like the ways I've seen these worn I think it's just like a cute little detail and who doesn't love a little like crochet lace type of thing. Um, because I do and a good ruffle. I love a good ruffle sock. I was sad when I grew out of the ruffle sock trend um, And so I'm happy that it's coming back to me as an adult and it's acceptable for me to wear these because I think they're very cute And I think it just um, Kind of helps add a little something extra to an outfit which you're always looking for at the holiday season So and it's not sequins which I think is like a fallback for people all the time. It's like oh holidays sequins which are fun, I mean, you can't, there are sequins on this puppy, but, um, sequins are fun, but sometimes it's just a little too much, and I think that this is like a more subtle, simpler way to get a little bit more festive, so. The next thing is, um, skincare, and that is, um, a good moisturizer. This is Promise Organic Ultra Moisturizing Argan Cream Face Lotion with Olive Oil which just sounds like a lot of moisture in one little package. Um, this came in um, one of my Ipsy bags, so where I find like a lot of my products anyway. Uh, but this came in my Ipsy bag and it is very moisturizing and I have a very terrible problem with dry skin um, during winter months. Um, my cheeks just like completely dry out and crackle um, and this helps fight that and I need that um, and I really like this stuff a lot and it smells nice and I think that that's important because I never want to put something on my face that smells weird so I like that it smells nice it smells like um, does it smell like olive oil it's kind of like citrusy it smells like limes is what it smells like um, which I like 
a lot. I love the smell of lime and lemon and stuff. So yeah, it smells like lime. It moisturizes the heck out of your face and it prevents really nasty little dry patches. So definitely recommend this or just any moisturizer in general because those cold winter months, they're not nice to your skin and you gotta get ahead of that game. So that's what I'm doing in December, get ahead of the skincare game. The next thing that I have to have in the month of December is dark lipstick. But dark lipstick with the added bonus of, on the same theme, moisturizing. And these are like literal lifesavers. Um, these are the Revlon Color Stay Moisture Stains. And look, it has moisture in the name. Um, I'm wearing the red right now. Um, and I really, really like them. Um, I know that the matte trend is big right now, and I'm not knocking matte um, lipsticks. I just feel like sometimes the matte lipsticks really dry out my lips and can sometimes be painful. So these are fun and like shiny and festive also um, to have during December and to wear. Um, this red color is Shanghai Sizzle and it's number 40. Uh, and like I said, I'm wearing it right now and I really like it. And this color is number five and it's Parisian Passion. And I have gotten so much use out of this. Um, this is like my third tube. I really, really, really love this color. Um, and I, as far as like dark lipsticks go and as far as like purpley lipsticks go, uh, I think it's very cute. And like I said, moisturizing. And they also have not just dark colors, I just, tend to like lean towards dark colors in December and during the holiday season but they have like really cute there's a really I have a really nice coral one that I like and there's also like a little light pink one um, that I really like and I mean all their colors are very very pretty very moisturizing perfect perfect for December oh, my last December must-have is nail polish specifically in either very dark colors Navy is always a classic, or Dark Green, my new obsession, this one specifically, H&M Pine and Dandy, um, great colors. Um, I also like a good uh, gray. I think gray is like an underrated nail polish color, for sure. And my other latest obsession is this Essie, and it's the like new cashmere matte um, colors in Comfy and Cashmere and it dries matte and this one has like, I don't know if you can tell, like a sheen, sheer, sparkly situation going on um, even when it dries matte. So I really, really, really like it. All of these colors, these are my December obsessions. I paint my nails like four times a week anyway, so I always have different colored nails unless I find something I'm like really, really obsessed with, but that's a rare occasion. Um, so all of these nail polish colors will probably be on my nails at some point in December and I might even mix and match and have multiple colors on my nails because I'm crazy like that. Um, so yeah, all these nail polishes, <laughs> what am I doing? Okay. Okay, so those are my December must-have items. Let me know in the comments below what you cannot live without this December. And also check out my social media and blog link in the description. And make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next one. Bye. Merry Christmas, everyone. If the 90s are making a comeback, does that mean that classic 90s Spice Girl hair is coming back? Or am I the only one wearing this? I can't even see my festive red sweater. Right, it's just red. I'm just wearing red. I'm just gonna jingle when I move. Okay. Christmas. Wow, y'all could see how much time I spend trying to fucking focus this camera because it's always out of focus every time I get done finishing filming a video. This one's probably out of focus. And by wearing this look, I mean rocking it. You know? Um, these are pretty worn on the bottom. Maybe that's why I'm falling. I've gotten really good use out of these. This in order before I start moving things around and talking because jingle bells. Holy sweating. Holla. I love it. How long have I had lipstick on my teeth? It must have is, oh no, I dropped it. 
Okay, just give me a second. 